Okay, so the most important thing is you go over there. You have no choice but to come with me. And I cannot tell you guys where to go, so. Let's, uh, let's get ready. I don't think we can sleep the Minotaur. So, uh, yeah, we're going to try blocking him. I'm gonna drink some alcohol to start with. Okay, very good. Hit me. Hit me. Nice dagger, I guess. Alright, so we kind of overprepared for that. I didn't need this. Of course, that one lasted for a thousand years, go figure. I didn't even really need the alcohol. Oh well. You can see alcohol, uh, it boosts my strength, and it cuts my dex and int, which is fine, because it really doesn't affect much. It's pretty much the only downside of being a goat man and a mage at the same time. Um, I usually recommend against it, but, you know, if you like the goat man, there's certainly nothing wrong with the playstyle. Especially with healer, because of all the synergies that you look for. I never remember my way around this place, despite having done this a long time, so I just kind of go through and open every single gate that I come in contact with, and eventually I get out. And that's my strategy. I hope. Th oh, I hope that's not. Uh, wander aimlessly. Just kill the Minotaur first, and there are no consequences to it. Let's do that. Oh, also, in the previous video, I actually forgot to pick the green orb up because I just didn't care about the green orb because it just—I don't think it gives me anything I have to give a shit about. Uh, the red orb. I don't think does either, but I believe the red orb has the highest variety of items that it provides you with. That's what I want to kind of do that. That's... Um... Can I tell you? I can tell you to equip things. Your bow sucks. I think we can head up this way and we're almost out. I mean, it doesn't, yeah. And if we go back up this way, there's another potion. I remember this section pretty well. We'll combine all of these speed potions real quick. Bonk. Kaboom. There we go. I don't know if we'll have any real use for them, but nice to have them. What is our alchemy at? 47? That's not too bad. Uh, we're down a backpack now, and we haven't really had a chance to buy anything, but... If you get here, you can put the orb right there. That was an angry noise. And uh, it weakens the Minotaur in some way that I, I don't know off the top of my head. But, yeah, uh, it's, it's an option. You could do that. I believe next is... Yeah, one more Sand Labyrinth floor. You stay here. I mean, you're all gonna stay here, but particularly the dude who got hurt really bad. Yeah. We got one more slime labyrinth floor, and then we are it in the rest stage. Eh. How did you hit me? Oh, see, now that's a problem. Nice. You just had it. Come on. Carry on. Oh. Goodbye, cricket. Thanks for giving me gun near back. Very cool of you. Heard a goblin over. 
open this one. I'm gonna throw potions at it. I think it's on the other side of the wall. It's a bummer. What type of potion is this? Sickness? Eh. Probably not gonna come back for it. A lot of, uh, violence happening. Whoa. Yeah, come get me. You did it. Chaos on this floor, like right out of the gate. Oh, here we go. Awesome. There we go. Alright, never mind, slime. You die now. Oh. So, now, get rid of that shield and that shield, and we can put this one on our bar. And I don't know offhand how much AC it provides when blocking. I think it might tell us in here, though. 25 AC when we block. So that puts us at uh, a truly ridiculous amount of AC. Um, when we have a shield equipped and are blocking. But even with torches, we're getting 25. So even if all we have is torches in our offhand, we're at 60 AC. Which is uh, pretty bonkers. Block is really powerful. What is this? What is this just garbage hole here? I love this. Also, I had a brief moment of panic where I forgot I had the levitate on. I was like, oh, I just fell into the hole and that's the end of the run. But no, we're good. It's like cricket part two. Welcome to the family. Not bonk, bonk, bonk. Nope, not putting up with that. <laughs> Alright. We already have a ring of might, we don't need another one. The only bummer so far in this run, really. Hi again. None of that. Yeah, give me back my bracers. The only bummer in this run so far is that we haven't gotten sure. Oh, that's. I thought that was a spell book. Getting sure would be the final thing that would really push this into being a very solid run, I would say. Decently well equipped, we've got the red orb, we killed the Minotaur without any real difficulty, we've got our block maxed out, we just got another spellbook of opening. How exciting. But the one thing we don't have is a really good weapon. Now we will get one in the Hamlet, as long as we grab the blue orb. But like. It's still kind of a bummer, you know? It would have been nice to get it sooner. And of course... Dick. Have a heal, even though you're a jerk. be really nice to have a better weapon, especially one whose durability we didn't have to worry about. But of course, hope springs eternal. I ended up coming back for the potion after all. I guess I should have pointed it out verbally, but you can break these walls as well as doors and chests and stuff very easily with the Force Bolt spell as opposed to punching them very slowly. Something to keep in mind if you're a wizard going around in here. Okay, Ring of Conflict. I don't usually get Rings of Conflict. It's kind of funny that I've received so many already. Okay, nothing over here. I like these areas where the ceiling goes up like this. I think this is really cool. It kind of uh, 
it both enhances and relieves the claustrophobia because you're in these tunnels and it's like it feels so tight and contained right and then you come out into one of these and you're like oh nice I don't know it has almost a, a feeling like some of those uh, some of the better made back rooms games right oh another shot I could definitely kill this guy oh he's an alchemist too so he, he's valuable to me there's the exit Die! Hey, I know you didn't die. Minus two potion of cure ailment. Alright, that sucks. Plus one cloak, nice. That was the last thing we needed. Oh yeah, this is Boulder Fury, so no. I thought that was a mace. Okay, well. We of course don't need to pull the lever, we'll just do this. And then we don't have a timer to worry about. Which is pretty dope. Usually there's something in the center of those. Not this time, I guess. Boop. Yeah. The fuck you think was gonna happen? Still can't tell them to do anything. Ah, yeah, but I can't heal you. Boop. Insectoids are reasonably strong allies, especially if you are an insectoid. Though I wouldn't recommend playing a mage if you're an insectoid, it's a bad fucking time. But, it's, uh, they are good cannon fodder to an extent. The weakness of them really is that, god, where am I? The weakness of insectoids is not really a weakness of them themselves. It's that if you are an insectoid, chances are you don't have very good leadership by the time you get this far in the game. So much like the issue I'm having right now where I can't tell them to do anything except swap weapons, which actually... You already use them. That was a good, that was a good halberd actually, but whatever. Now you're a Gungnir fella. Okay, I don't want to go this way. I want to go this way. And then this way. And then maybe over here? Money. Yeah, so because... Barely saved your life, bruh. Two HP. Have two heals, even. Do not walk into the spike trap. Uh, let's go this way. Because you're... Do I want to kill this guy? Because your leadership is so low, you can't control them, and then they just get themselves into all kinds of stupid situations that were otherwise fully avoidable. Excellent one. It's less likely to break. Get some of this. this. takes charisma into account, but good lord. Uh, uh, da, da, da. Oh, oh, what? I forgot you could even do that. Huh. Well, I don't want to do that, but it's cool that now I know I can. Okay. Uh, toss that out, first off. These. There we go. Find 
those. Go. Just want to try and pick up all of the potions that are in stacks. Excellent. Uh, one of those. Go. How is our Alembic looking? Worn. Okay, we'll pick that back up before we go. Alright, what was that? That was another paralysis potion, which is actually pretty good. Paralysis potions are pretty strong if you can get a hold of them. What the? Alright. Wield! Fly, idiot. Did I just pick up the fucking dagger? I did. Picking up everything I don't wanna. I want to wield this. Do that. And then wield this. Do that. Now, equip that. Toss that and keep this. And uh, we'll see about the rest of it at some point. Anything else cool in here? There's a hidden potion of water there. Once you know how to fight... Oh, I don't need to go through there. Shopkeepers, they're really not that tough unless you, of course, engage with one of the ones that is in the hamlet. Where they actually are that tough. Let's put that action. I think to end out this episode. I'm going to finish leveling up my swing to max. I no longer need to fear things. We're at 53 right now, and I can always put this on to get to 65, which is pretty good. So we're really not afraid of fireballs or anything anymore, so I'm just going to get my swim skill up, uh, speed through this part, and actually I'll probably just cut. Yeah, that'll be a bit better. So I'll, I'll cut this part, and then we'll finish and we'll head to the rest floor. And then after that we'll be going to the last area before the Baron. Alright, we're almost there, everybody. Welcome back. 99 swim skill. Any second now. Any second now. Any second now. So as you can see up top, I hit level 40 from up oh, there it is. And I almost hit level 41 purely off of leveling up my swim skill. So even if you're uh, not super interested in, I don't know, swimming, <laughs> it's good to level it up. Even if you don't care about being able to walk on liquids, though it is worth noting it works on lava as well. Uh, and in that downtime, I also looked up some stuff, specifically this stuff. I remembered this one offhand, but I just looked up some basic potion recipes, cut down on my inventory a little bit, which is nice. There we go. We have a decent spread of potions. We really don't need these ones, but they don't turn into anything that I care about at the moment. So... open that one so good food so food is actually kind of cool uh, which might come as a surprise but we can feed it to our men and or lady trolls and get some leadership levels off of it it's a good little way to get some extra stuff going It will heal them if they're low on HP. Uh, I mean, I guess if there's one that's like 3,000 gold, maybe I'll hold on to it, but there wasn't, unsurprisingly. But yeah, it's a good way to get your levels up for uh, leadership. Kind of take advantage of that skill a little bit more. Uh, for now, this is the end of uh, this episode, whichever one we're on now. Don't remember offhand. But... 
Next, we will be going to the bad place. I don't remember what it's even called. I always call it the underworld, even though I think the underworld's technically somewhere else. Either way, there's demons and shit there, so it's basically the underworld. And it sucks. Uh, to be totally clear, it sucks. All of our dudes are probably going to die. Definitely all the insectoids, because I still cannot tell them to do anything, though I am very close. So they are, they are doomed. Um, magic resistance is going to be particularly useful there. Because, of course, there are many magic traps. Uh, but we'll get into that next time. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Barony. I'm really enjoying this run. And I think that uh, we can probably go all the, all the way. Though the Baron might be a little bit of a tough fight for us. Because I, won't, I probably won't have many dudes left by then. But we'll see. Uh, if you guys like what you have seen so far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that I know. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.